This is Goldman Sachs on the monthly chart. And we can see that price is making lower highs. And in the process of respecting this monthly downtrend line, and we can see a huge monthly bias level at the $265 level. You see support, you see resistance. So that monthly bias level becomes a bear trap, essentially. Before we continue with the analysis, let's look at this article. And it's going to be coming from investing.com. So Goldman Sachs reported stronger than expected results fueled by strong trading performance. The company posted earnings of $5.47 per share. Analysts were expecting a little higher at $5.54. Here's what the CEO had to say regarding the earnings results and the quarter. We continue to make significant progress executing on our strategic priorities and we are confident that the work we are doing now provides us a much stronger platform for 2024. I also expect a continued recovery in both capital markets and strategic activity if conditions remain conducive. As a leader in the M&A advisory and equity underwriting, a resurgence in activity will undoubtedly be a tailwind for Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs is unique among many banks as it heavily relies on investment banking and trading revenue. While the CEO has worked on diversifying the company's revenue through endeavors like a retail banking push and a focus on assets and wealth management, it's clear that Wall Street activities continue to be a significant driver of the company's performance, uh, rev uh, financial performance. All right, so going back to the analysis, again, this is the weekly chart. And we can start seeing support a little lower from current price at $300. 290 and 280 become the next levels of interest. On the daily chart, you can see price is below all the moving averages. And these move av averages will serve as dynamic resistance. You can see in recent weeks we had a gap down and price could not close above the high of the candle that gap down. Wednesday you can see another gap down and the following subsequent two days we had these rejection wicks which implies more downside risk. Now let's look at price and go down and to the left. You have the makings of a W pattern kind of signifying a bottom a reversal bullish pattern however I think the liquidity is going to be once you get below $280 again that's where the monthly buyers zone begins and I don't see a lot of volume kicking in again another W bullish reversal pattern All right, so let's go down to Let's see how things look like on the weekly chart. All right, so let's go down back down to the daily. You can see when price left the zone pull back so the unfilled oil is going to be below 270 now you see this gap higher on strong volume 
price came back could not f uh you could say the gap was filled and then price took off although this is a monthly zone the chart suggests the best level to go long is at the 250 level but because it's a monthly zone you're gonna see some type of reversal bullish pattern on a smaller chart daily chart in particular wait for volume and that would be your opportunity to go long thanks for watching subscribe please like the video